This is the time of year in catechism class when we consider God the Holy Spirit and his work. I suppose that often we're guilty of not giving the Holy Spirit his due, not recognizing how important his work is. But that's not a mistake that the Holy Scriptures make. No, for example, the Bible gives us a number of very fine word pictures of what the Holy Spirit has done for us. They're beautiful. One of those word pictures is the word conversion. The Holy Spirit converted us. It means that he turned us around. And to illustrate that, let me ask, have you ever been to a strange city, driven there, and then gotten off the path? You were grateful if somebody, maybe even a stranger, pointed you on the right path to get to your destination. That's what God the Holy Spirit's done for us. That's what the scriptures say. Romans chapter 8, verses 5 and 6. Chapter 5a says, The mind that is set on the sinful nature has in mind what the sinful nature desires. But then the second half of the verse the mind controlled by the Spirit has in mind what the Spirit desires. Verse 6, the mind controlled by sinful man is death. But the mind controlled by the Spirit is life and is peace. Do you see? That's what it is that God the Holy Spirit has done for us. You and I were marching to hell and then God the Holy Spirit turned us around and started marching us to heaven. He converted us and he did that when he gave us faith in Jesus Christ as our dear Lord and Savior. Thank God for the work of God the Holy Spirit, huh? And this week, be sure to listen to him as you consider the scriptures day by day.